this time, I would like to honor our valedictorians and salutatorian for the class of 2020. The salutatorian for the class of 2020 is Hannah Kramer. Our valedictorians for the class of 2020, Brooke Dickey, and Macy Putoff. Hi, my name is Macy Putoff, and along with Brooke Dickey, it is our privilege to be standing in front of you all today. I know this isn't exactly what any of us were expecting when we pictured graduation. This is supposed to be a time when we stand side by side, throwing our caps into the air, celebrating everything we've experienced together the past 13 years. And while we can't physically be together during this time, we would still like to celebrate the accompl accomplishments of these seniors. I would like to begin by thanking my parents. <laughs> Thank you, Dad, for always being my number one fan and for supporting me in everything I do. I know I can always count on you to push me to dream big and become the best version of myself. And thank you, Mom, for, <laughs> for not only being a great role model, but also one of my best friends. We are alike in so many ways, and while that can be scary sometimes, there is no one I'd rather be more alike. You have always had my best interest at heart and have shown me how to be kind, hardworking, and confident. I have always looked up to you, and I am so grateful to have a mom as amazing as you. I would like to thank my family, especially my dad for always believing in me, and my mom for always supporting me in my decisions and continuing to push me every day. You have raised me to be a kind person, and because of you, I am proud of the person that I have become today. I also wouldn't have achieved this goal if it weren't for my friends and fellow classmates who believed in me, oftentimes more than I believed in myself. So thank you. When Macy and I were thinking about what to write in the speech, we wanted to share what inspired us throughout the years and what impact high school has made on our lives. For me, and I know this may sound cliche, but hard work really does pay off. And I'm finally starting to see that. I've tried as hard as I could the past four years and felt like I was always anxious and stressed about school. And I always asked myself if it was worth stressing over, and now I can say yes. I have reached my goal, and all the work that I've put in and the time I've dedicated to school has finally shown. Once you find something that you are good at and are passionate about, you are going to continue to strive and be greater. And I think many of you in here today can attest to that. Everyone has their passion and goal in life. Whether it be sports, band, or work, everyone has something that drives them to work harder, and that was school for me. And yes, Macy and I may have reached our goal, but today is about all of us and what we have all achieved over the years. So I asked some students what inspired them and what they learned throughout school. Some explained that graduation is a time where our 13 years of school finally comes full circle. We are being accepted to colleges, receiving scholarships, or getting a job. And it's true. We can finally see the work pay off and know that all the ups and downs to get here were worth it. Some students said that the teachers have inspired them by always believing in us and pushing us to be stronger. During the last four years at New Bremen High School, I have learned the imp importance of not worrying about the little things. In the grand scheme of things, failing a quiz, losing a game, or forgetting my books for class doesn't matter. I have found that dwelling on the little things takes my eyes off of my bigger dreams and goals in life. When I stopped worrying about the little things, I was able to focus my time and attention on the things that really matter. While the entire class of 2020 has learned different things throughout high school, maybe the most important thing we have all learned over the past four years is the value of memories. As we move forward after today, we look back at our, ta at our time at New Bremen High School fondly remembering the times we spent with each other. For example, Hannah Kramer calling me a not very nice word on the playground in fifth grade, or Will Kaiser long jumping in chemistry class junior year. I'm sure many of you will remember singing Living on a Prayer at the Hard Rock Cafe in DC, or Spencer passing out in Mrs. Mauer's arms after looking at blood in the microscope. In third grade, Kira stapled her hand when trying to fix the stapler, 
and in sixth grade, Mrs. Puppelman accidentally broke a ruler on Julia's hand. We've had very memorable field trips, whether it was Nolan throwing up on the bus on the way to Carillon Park, or Brennan throwing his retainer away at Burger King. We hold these memories and many more close to our hearts as we enter this new chapter in our lives. And while many of us are going far away for college, work, or the military, the memories and friendships that we have created at New Bremen will keep us all connected. We will look back at everything we've experienced together during the last 13 years and remember that New Bremen schools and the people of the graduating class of 2020 will always hold a special place in our hearts. We would like to close our speech today by thanking the administration and all the teachers that have guided us through life thus far and helped us get to where we are today. We know this last nine weeks has been challenging for everyone, but the teachers have continued to do their best and provide many opportunities to help their students succeed. We have had many teachers throughout our lives, and while we may have driven quite a few away, such as Mrs. Maurer, Mrs. Hegemeyer, Mr. Gast, and Mr. McGarren, they will always hold a special place in our heart. But most importantly, we will never forget the life lessons that some teachers taught us, like Mr. Caney teaching us how to golf before each class, Mrs. Snigowski teaching us how to use a fire blanket during her failed science experiment, and of course, Mr. Williams constantly informing us that he will always be the greatest athlete from New Bremen. Thank you and good luck to all the seniors in their future endeavors. School board members, Mr. Schrader and audience, the students who are receiving diplomas today have successfully completed the graduation requirements set forth by New Bremen High School and the Ohio Department of Education. At this time, I will invite each student to join me on stage to receive their diploma. Nolan Douglas Bornhorst. Aaron Joseph Vandahar. Griffin Thomas Rectorman. Ryan Timothy Paul. Jacob Edward Byers. William Richard Oberding. Mitchell Peter Moeller. Cheyenne Elizabeth Bertke. Lily Brianna Cronenberger. Lauren Michelle Miller. Sean William LaFleur.
Grant Isaac Brodigam. Spencer Wilton Alleg. Ian Graham Fry. Brennan Larry Tinnerman. William Richard Kaiser. Alexa Jennifer Puppelman. Devin Gregory Teeman. Miranda Jordan Scheib. Zane William Goings. Xavier Joshua Goings. Nathan Lee Steed. Sydney Olivia Paul. Logan James Suchland. Taylor Renee Danielle Paul. Riley Ann Scheib. Sarah Marie Parker. Lauren Jean Schrolicky. Allison Joe Wilker. Ashton Lee Ritter. Calla Emily Ferguson.
Kira Elizabeth Berkey. Elena Marie Spielman. Jordan Hannah Paul. Ryland Rudolph James Archie. Holly Marie Schultz. Laura Marie Steinemann. Mariah Joanne Parlett. Stella Danielle Fear. Julia Caroline Wilker. Benedetta Sarah Bettinelli. Landon Joseph Boyle. Jessica Page Flutterjohn. Cassandra Grace Stockler. Hunter Lee Waterman. Brianna K. Wiedemann. Ashton Claire Highcamp. Hannah Rose Kramer. Brooke Elizabeth Dickey. Macy Renee Putoff. Patrick Lee Wells. At this time, I invite class president Patrick Wells to the stage to address the class of 2020.
Good afternoon. I am Patrick Wells and the president of the class of 2020. To begin, I would like to thank the Board of Education, Administration, and Teachers who worked so hard in making the New Bremen school system such an incredible institution. As students, we see all of the dedication you put into the school and us. It matters, and it is very much appreciated by all of us. To the seniors, it is an honor to represent and stand in front of a class that has made such a memorable impact to the school and the town of New Bremen. The class of 2020 has been a part of many accomplishments academically, athletically, and throughout our community over our four years in high school. A few examples are the robotics team, reaching state and gaining numerous accolades along the way. Our band went to state with numerous awards and recognitions, and our swim team had many firsts with success at districts and two relays qualifying for state. Our football team went to the playoffs for the first time since 2004 and won two tournament games. And lastly, our girls' volleyball team won the state title, the first state title in school history in 2017, and won another with the class of 2020 as seniors just past fall, this past fall. A goal of our class was to leave the school in a better place than when we first arrived as freshmen. Mission accomplished. We experienced the transition to a new culture in our new Bremen school, a culture that is made for more confidence and success that will continue long after we graduate and long into our careers. Today we have a pandemic that has challenged not only New Bremen and the nation, but the entire globe. As this impacted our area, the new culture, our New Bremen culture, responded and faced this challenge head on with a championship spirit. Administration, teachers, and students responded to the call with little complaining and showed no weakness. We don't want the class of 2020 to be remembered as a class that lost memories due to COVID. We want the class of 2020 to be remembered as a class that didn't give up that made it to the finish line and graduated through the challenges that COVID-19 presented. We are forever Cardinals and will forever be bonded through the memories over our years together. Thank you. To end the commencement ceremony, we will enjoy the recessional as the New Bremen High School Band plays Bonds of Unity.